one hometown. Like our homes and our families, the place we are from defines who we are. It's, the, it, it's our history, and it can be our destiny. So for as long as I can remember, I have loved this town. When I go away, I, I never describe myself as being from Wisconsin. I am from Superior, Wisconsin, because this is a special place. This is a unique place. And I serve my community in every way that I can, whenever I could, for as long as I've been able. When I have something to offer or an opportunity to help, to help, I consider it a duty to serve. Because to me, that's what citizenship means. That's what community means. That's what home means. So it's my very great honor to stand here with community leaders, with hardworking families, with my friends, with my family, my wife Katie, and to say to you that my name is Jim Payne, and I'm running for mayor of Superior. Martha, I want to thank you for that very kind introduction. You have been uh, a friend and a mentor and a role model to me on the county board for as long as I've been on the county board. Uh, I think one of the most important things that you taught me is that to, we need not only strong conviction to serve in public office, we need the courage to stand up for that conviction and to fight for it, especially when things are difficult. So, so thank you very much for standing with me and for teaching me on the county board and for trusting me. I want to thank all of the public, committed public servants that have come out here today. Your faith in me and your trust in me humbles me and, and I hope makes me worthy of the office that I'm trying to pursue. Uh, we have city councilors here, county board members. We have uh, hardworking families. We have uh, public servants from every level of local government. Uh, my family is here, my friends, my wife Katie. Their support, their faith in me, their friendship inspires me every day and is what gives me the courage to stand up here today and gives me the conviction to pursue leadership in my hometown. So our former chairman, Doug Finn, is here and I, I say this in every speech that I have the pleasure to give. He taught me the most important lesson about politics that I've ever learned. And that's that good government is built on relationships. For years, that's what's made Douglas County government so successful. Now, if, if you don't hear a lot about Douglas County government, first I would say you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> second, I would say the reason for that is because we're, we're effective. We get things done and we build relationships with each other. It is a critical governing philosophy and it's a philosophy that I'm gonna bring to this campaign and some philosophy that I'm gonna to bring to the city of Superior. We rely on each other in this community. And the only way that we can grow together is by establishing our relationships together among a community and in government. So as much as I'm grateful for the support of so many strong community leaders, especially the ones that came out today, this campaign is really not just about me. This is a campaign for working people and their children. It's a campaign for senior citizens. It's a campaign for those struggling to get by in our city, but that still believe that hard work creates opportunity. This is a campaign that isn't going to leave anybody behind. And we're gonna create a city that never leaves anybody behind. So I want my fellow citizens to know that I am gonna work as hard for you as your mayor as I'm going to work in this campaign. And I'm gonna put as much work into this campaign as I've put into public service for my entire adult life. <clears throat> Community service has really been the foundation of who I am. It's how I define myself. <clears throat> And it's the only real calling that I've ever had. I am a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I had the privilege of serving my country. I took a career serving a vulnerable population. And I get to demonstrate my commitment to community every day as a catechist, as a Vincentian, as a Rotarian. And I'm gonna bring a high quality, effective, and importantly, local education to this office. I uh, received a bachelor's in history from UWS right here in Superior. I have a master's in advocacy and political leadership where I learned how government and policy building is supposed to work, how it's supposed to connect policy to communities. So my education makes me, I'm thrilled to be a Cooper Cub, a Central Viking, a Superior <laughs> Spartan, a UWS Yellow Jacket, and a UMD Bulldog, but I mean, nobody's perfect. So. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing here is I intend, I, I believe I'm going to be one of the most experienced candidates, not only uh, in this race, but that's ever run for uh, mayor of Superior. I have more than seven years of experience in, again, effective local government. Uh, I've served with great other leaders on the county board that have taught me in an open, public way how government is supposed to work. 
we haven't always agreed, but we've always gotten along and made sure that we were working for the community that sent us here to serve. As Mark mentioned, they demonstrated their faith in me and greatly humbled me when this year they elected me their vice chairman to work with Mark. I think we've done that very well. Mark trusted me to handle our budget process this year as the chairman of the administration committee, where we oversaw a $50 million budget. That was not without challenges. But again, working together, we got through these challenges and we put together a budget and an entire county policy that really worked for every citizen here in Northwest Wisconsin. Throughout my years on the county board, I have had the opportunity to learn a lot of different things through a lot of different experiences. I have learned how to serve our most vulnerable populations and keep our community healthy on the Health and Human Services Board. I've gotten to pursue development of all levels on our Land and Development Committee. I played a role in transportation and infrastructure development and planning on the Metropolitan Interstate Council, uh, planning transportation projects for the entire Twin Ports. And my greatest honor on the county board has been serving our first and finest citizens on the better. But I'm really proud of having the opportunity to, to work with these different community leaders from different opinions and backgrounds to find ways that make life better for the citizens of Superior and Douglas County. We've, we've done a lot of great things. In Douglas County, working with the City of Superior, our school board, and this community. We've worked to attract and support retail and industrial business. We've taken action to support workers. We've been, we've been able to find compromise between industry, the environment, commerce, and the community in an effort to build an economy that values fairness, prosperity, and growth. So we practice prudent governments that respects taxpayers, but also builds proactive budgets so that we don't have to respond reactively every time there's a state or national economic crisis. That's what allows our citizens to have stability living here in Superior and Douglas County. We have shown this community that mutual respect and compromise is still the best way to do business in government and in our community. So I want the people of Superior to know that I have the education, the experience, the vision, the passion, and importantly, the relationships to be successful as their mayor building a city in a community in a 21st century America that's going to work for every single citizen. I'm going to use this campaign to lay out a bold vision that looks years into the future. I'm not going to keep you here all day and lay out the entire platform. I really <laughs> want you to go to jimpainformayor.com. We have done a lot of great work and put together a full platform. We're going to keep, uh, but it's not done. Platforms do not just come from one person. They come from the community. We're going to spend the next several months learning from uh, the citizens that we hope to work for what they need out of this community. And our platform is gonna grow from the grassroots of this community. But my ideas right now are to build a 21st century community and economy that works for everybody. So we need to update our transportation network so that we see, serve the needs of a new generation. Most of you have heard me say this before. Our infrastructure network was designed more than 100 years ago for a very different time, demographics, and population to serve very different needs. We need to make our roads, sidewalks, paths, and trails safe, accessible, and affordable. And we need to accommodate alternative forms of transportation so that every citizen, student to senior, can move through this city safely and effectively. We're going to create a sense of place that will redefine our, uh, our reputation, both to the citizens that live here and to our neighbors. We're going to start with the very great work that's happening in our downtown district right now. That's been a collaboration of a lot of community leaders that I've been very pleased and excited to be a part of. But we're going to build on that momentum. We're going to create an entertainment and retail district that not only attracts visitors here, but makes people proud and, ha and happy and excited to live here. But we're not going to stop there. The important thing you need to know when you elect me mayor, I am not going to be the mayor that builds your city for the next two years, the next six years, or even the next 10 years. We are going to take on big challenges and build this city for the next 30 years, the next 50 years. The grand citizens of this city that, that built it up more than 100 years ago were not thinking about 100 years behind them. They weren't trying to go back to a different time that they liked before. They took on a new vision and looked how they could grow their city into something that nobody had ever seen before. We don't quite yet know what the next superior is going to look like, but we're going to work together and we're going to build it ourselves. We're not just going to try and save the past. We're going to build our own future. But we have to, we cannot ignore our challenges either. We are facing a very serious drug problem in this community. It is nothing less than a modern plague. 
we need to continue working and building partnerships with our neighbors, especially Duluth and St. Louis County. We need to work with the state of Wisconsin to make sure that law enforcement and our justice system is going to have all of the tools and the resources that they need to make sure that we can remove this, this very serious blight on our community. But we can't just police or prosecute our way out of our drug problem. We need to continue to push for stronger mental health resources in Northwest Wisconsin to make sure that every family that's, that's afflicted by the scourge of drug abuse has hope that they can actually find recovery and that we can turn, that we can make people that were lost to us into citizens again. We need to address our housing stock. A, a bunch of political leaders, me included, have come to you time and again and told you that we've had, that we have one of the oldest and decaying housing stocks in the state of Wisconsin and even in the United States. We've done the work, we've, we've done the studies, we know that this is a problem, but it's, it's important that we get to work now because this is the backbone of our economy. I'm not just worried about crumbling houses or blight in our community, I'm worried about the people that are living in those houses. We need to start investing in them again. The city has had great opportunities in the, past, in the past, great programs that I want to bring back. I want to start using grant funding again so that individual homeowners have the opportunity to work with our city uh, to, re to invest in their house with long-term loans that are uh, affordable to working class and low-income families so that we can begin to rebuild our housing stock house by house, block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood. These neighborhoods not only define us, but they're the way that we fix our entire economy. We need to focus on these working families living in these neighborhoods. While we're, working, while we're working on working families, we need to make sure that they have good work to go to. We need to remember that the working class of this community has always been the economic engine of our success. Our working, we need to make sure that the city of Superior, as one of the biggest employers in our entire region, Duluth, Superior, St. Louis County, Douglas County, we're one of our biggest employers, we need to make sure that we are leading the way and providing a positive example by treating our own employees fairly, making sure they have, that our employees have a strong opportunities and a strong future working for us. But we need to make sure that our influence expands into the community too, so that our contractors and our developers that we're working with, uh, that we expect them and we incentivize them to make sure that they are employing workers and uh, that they are treating fairly and equitably and building a good future for them. This is the way that we build our economy up because when workers have secure jobs and good wages and good benefits, they stay here first and foremost, but they invest back in their community. It's our working class that's buying new things in our new retail shops that are opening on Tower and are about to open on Belknap and it's the working class that are gonna raise their children here and build the next generation that's gonna keep the work of Superior moving forward. So meeting these challenges is not just the job of one person. It takes an entire community. I cannot do this alone either in this campaign or in the office of mayor. I rely on you here to put us in the office of mayor, but I rely on this entire community to come together to do the work that we need to do. When we're working together as one community, we don't have to be afraid of what the future could bring for us. When we're working together, we can embrace the future. We can look forward to it. So I'm here asking the citizens of, the, the citizens of Superior for your vote, for your support, for your faith, for your trust, but most importantly, for your help in this campaign on election day and beyond election day, because together, we're able to build a city that we, can that we can be proud of, and we have to, because this is our city, this is our future, and we're only gonna move it forward together. So thank you very much.